witness what we do firsthand for the children in our community. Thank you. You may have said, and I didn't, I may have missed it. How are you funded? So we are funded through private donations, federal grants. We are part of a national CASA and an Ohio CASA, but we have to apply for funding with them just like we would do any other grant source. It's not a guarantee. This is our first opportunity for full public. If anyone would like to come forward, you have up to three minutes. State your name and address for the record. I'm Mark Hodgson, and I'm on Eddie Carter Street. I know the line's taking a long time, but let's do it now. It's not my anniversary. I'd like to thank counsel, including counsel for New Car Services Patrol. That bullseye is scary, dangerous. It's a falling fire. I said thank you for the friendship of New Car. Is there anyone else who would like to come forward for full counsel? I mean, full public? All right, we'll move on to our standing committee reports, and we'll begin with Administration and Financial Management, Chairperson Bailiff. Thank you, Mr. President. Administration and Financial Management did meet two weeks ago, I think. The one item we have is Resolution 32, which is the tax budget for 2017, and tonight it's only up for a second reading. Our minutes are on file, and we will meet again next Tuesday sometime after 6.30 in the back room. Thank you. Community Engagement, Chairperson Thompson. Thank you, President Graham. Community Engagement met two weeks ago, and our minutes are on file. Of course, we're right in the middle of the high activity season right now, so Community Engagement is very, very busy because we're planning many fun family events for the citizens. So hopefully you'll check out all the Facebook pages, the beauty pageants, and the WCCA, and also our cruising page for all of the events that we've got going on, and we'll meet again in the back next week sometime after 6.30. Or out. Out here depends on the day. Or out here. Yes. All right, so that brings us to Community Standards and Enforcement. That's Chairperson Rodriguez. He's unable to attend the meeting this evening. However, the committee did meet two weeks ago. The minutes are on file in the council office. They shall also meet next Tuesday sometime after 6.30. Next, we have Economic Development. Chairperson Morrison. Thank you, Mr. President. Economic Development also met last Tuesday. Our minutes are on file, and we have Ordinance 58 up for consideration this evening. Thank you. Infrastructure Maintenance and Services. Chairperson Gray. Thank you, Mr. President. Infrastructure Maintenance and Services also met two weeks ago, and our minutes are on file, and we'll meet sometime in the back next week around 6.30. All right. Thank you. Public Safety. Chairperson Staley. Thank you, Mr. President. Public Safety did meet two weeks ago back in the back. Our minutes are on file. We will meet again next Tuesday sometime after 6.30. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Next, we have Parks and Recreation. That's Chairperson Kanner. He's also unable to attend the meeting this evening. However, his committee also met two weeks ago on Tuesday evening, and the minutes are on file in the council office. They shall also meet again next Tuesday sometime after 6.30. Those are all the standing committee reports. That brings us to our officials' reports, and we'll begin with our mayor, Ken McAfee. Good evening. I'd like to say a shout-out to my neighbors, the Litzes, right over there. Thank you for coming. Appreciate you being here. I would just like to ask for favorable consideration of Ordinances 56 and 57. Also, Resolution 37, which is CMAQ. The reason for that is that this is our regarding the traffic lights 
were still trending pretty consistent with respect to about 25% of all cases filed in mayor's court are actual Whitehall residents. That's the official report from the city attorney's office. Unofficially, I had the opportunity, and Chairperson Staley as well as Director Underwood had the opportunity to do a ride-along with Officer Holyfield for the Whitehall Police Department, and it was supposed to be an hour, and I ended up spending almost six hours with him. And it was an amazing experience. And that experience, one, we went on runs where we were able to help, successfully help two individuals that had attempted suicide. And to see the touch and to see the compassion and to see the focus from our public safety is commendable. My heart was just proud to be there and to ride along, and they actually let me go inside the homes. And one person actually thought I was a detective, and I just ran with it. So that was fun. And then lastly, unofficially, if you see a dark cloud above my head in the next coming weeks, I'm sad to report my daughter will be going away to college early next week. So we'll be traveling to Virginia to drop her off early. I don't know where she – she could have left in August, but she wanted to leave in June. And so she's leaving in June. I guess she got that overachievement from her mother. She's the one with the happy cloud above. But that dark cloud will be above my head in the next few weeks. So until I get used to it, if I'm looking a little sullen and a little bulldoggish, that's my baby girl. She'll be going away to college early, and I just am so enthused about her. And you all have license at any time through Facebook, even you public, through Facebook or whatever. If she's posting things, Major, you have the license and the authority to let her know that that's not what she's supposed to do while away in college. So thank you very much for your time. Yes, it does. Okay, next we have our city auditor, Mr. Dan Miller. Thank you, Mr. President. I have no official report tonight. All right, that brings us to our Director of Public Safety, Mr. Chuck Underwood. Thank you, Mr. President, members of council. I have no official report either. All right, thank you. I am pleased to know that our city attorney was impressed by Officer Holyfield. And finally, we have our treasurer, Mr. Steve Quinzel. Did we intentionally skip development? Well, there's no development director sitting here. Well, you know, she was just going to be the official report for me, Mr. President. Thank you. I'm sorry. No, I'll go ahead and report. All right. All right, we've had no official reports filed in the council office since our last meeting. And under communications, petitions, and claims, we have the two items listed on our agenda this evening. And we have received two additional items since then. And all of a sudden, I'm drawing a blank here. Are these two items? Okay. Never mind. Next is our verification of comments. Ms. Breimer, please call the roll for whether each member of council is given a copy of each item of legislation listed on the agenda prior to the meeting and including any added legislation. Morrison? Yes. Stanley? Yes. Graves? Yes. Thompson? Yes. Stanley? Yes. That brings us to our ordinances and resolutions this evening. Under third reading, we have none. Under second reading, we begin with resolution 32-2016. It's adopting the tax budget for the city of Whitehall, Ohio for the fiscal year beginning January 1, 2017, and submitting the same to the county auditor and declaring an emergency. And that resolution is being read by title only. It's the only item we have under second reading. Under first reading, we have ordinance 55-2016. It's authorizing adoption of the May 2016 replacement pages to the codified ordinances of the city of Whitehall and declaring an emergency. Mr. President, I wish to introduce 
Board, that's 55-26-P, and move for the suspension of all duties. Second. I have a motion by Mr. Morrison and a second by Ms. Connison for introduction and suspension of all rules on Ordinance 55-26-P. Questions or comments? Ms. Freimark, please call the roll. Morrison? Yes. Bailey? Yes. Gray? Yes. Connison? Yes. Bailey? Yes. The rules have been suspended on Ordinance 55-26-P. Mr. President, I move to adopt Ordinance 55-26-P. Second. A motion by Mr. Morrison, a second by Ms. Connison for adoption of Ordinance 55-26-P. Ms. Freimark, please call the roll. Morrison? Yes. Bailey? Yes. Gray? Yes. Connison? Yes. Bailey? Yes. Ordinance 55-26-P has been adopted. Next we have Ordinance 56-26-P. It's affirming the designation of the White Oak Community Improvement Corporation as an agency of the city under Ohio Revised Code 1724.10 and authorizing the execution of an agreement and plan for industrial, commercial, distribution, and research development and declaring an emergency. Mr. President, I wish to introduce Ordinance 56-26-P and move for the suspension of all rules. Second. I have a motion by Mr. Morrison, a second by Mr. Gray for introduction and suspension of all rules on Ordinance 56-26-P. Questions or comments? Ms. Freimark, please call the roll. Morrison? Yes. Bailey? Yes. Gray? Yes. Connison? Yes. Bailey? Yes. The rules have been suspended on Ordinance 56-26-P. Mr. President, I move for the adoption of Ordinance 56-26-P. Second. I have a motion by Mr. Morrison, a second by Mr. Gray for adoption of Ordinance 56-26-P. Ms. Freimark, please call the roll. Morrison? Yes. Bailey? Yes. Gray? Yes. Connison? Yes. Bailey? Yes. Ordinance 56-26-P has been adopted. Next is Ordinance 57-26-P. It's appropriating monies on deposit in Whitehall Municipal Public Improvement Tax Increment Equivalent Fund to be used to fund a portion of the cost of acquiring the property known as the Commons at Royal Landing and declaring an emergency. That ordinance is being read by title only. Next we have Ordinance 58-26-P, providing for the issuance and sale of bonds in the maximum amount of $4,500,000 for the purpose of paying the cost of acquiring the real and personal property within the city generally known as the Commons at Royal Landing as part of a project to redevelop that property with a mix of commercial and residential uses, all in support of economic development, creating or preserving jobs and employment opportunities, and providing housing within the city and declaring an emergency. Mr. President, I wish to introduce Ordinance 58-26-P and move for the suspension of all rules. Second. We have a motion by Mr. Morrison, a second by Ms. Connison for introduction and suspension of all rules on Ordinance 58-26-P. Questions or comments? Ms. Freimark, please call the roll. Morrison? Yes. Bailey? Yes. Gray? Yes. Connison? Yes. Bailey? Yes. The rules have been suspended on Ordinance 58-26-P. Mr. President, we move for the adoption of 58-26-P. Second. We have a motion by Mr. Morrison, a second by Ms. Connison for adoption of Ordinance 58-26-P. Ms. Freimark, please call the roll. Morrison? Yes. Bailey? Yes. Gray? Yes. Connison? Yes. Bailey? Yes. Ordinance 58-26-P has been approved. Next, we have Ordinance 59-26-P, approving and making a supplemental appropriation of $17,000 from unappropriated monies in the Community Development Trust Fund to the Home Reinvestment Program account and declaring an emergency. That is being read by title only. Next is Resolution 37-26-P. It's authorizing the mayor to file an application for federal congestion mitigation and air quality improvement funding and committing the necessary non-federal match and stating the assurance to complete the project and declaring an emergency. Mr. President, I'd like to introduce Resolution 37-2016 for the suspension of all rules. Second. We have a motion by Mr. Gregg and a second by Ms. Connison for the suspension of all rules. Mr. President, I move for the adoption of Resolution 37-2016. Second. We have a motion by Mr. Gregg and a second by Ms. Connison for
Anderson for introduction and suspension of all rules on Resolution 37-2016. Questions or comments? Ms. Freiberg, please call the roll. Morrison? Yes. Bailey? Yes. Ms. Gray? Yes. Hunter? Yes. Staley? Yes. The rules have been suspended on Resolution 37-2016. Move to adopt. Second. Motion by Mr. Gray, second by Ms. Connison for adoption of Resolution 37-2016. Ms. Freiberg, please call the roll. Morrison? Yes. Bailey? Yes. Gray? Yes. Connison? Yes. Staley? Yes. Resolution 37-2016 has been adopted. Our next item is Resolution 38-2016. It's authorizing the mayor to enter into a fiber overlatch agreement with Wide Open West and declaring an emergency. Mr. President, I'd like to introduce Resolution 38-2016 and move the suspension of all rules. Second. The motion by Mr. Gray and a second by Ms. Connison for introduction and suspension of all rules on Resolution 38-2016. Questions or comments? Ms. Freiberg, please call the roll. Morrison? Yes. Bailey? Yes. Gray? Yes. Connison? Yes. Staley? Yes. The rules have been suspended on Resolution 38-2016. Move to adopt. Second. Motion by Mr. Gray, second by Ms. Connison for adoption of Resolution 38-2016. Ms. Freiberg, please call the roll. Morrison? Yes. Bailey? Yes. Gray? Yes. Connison? Yes. Staley? Yes. Resolution 38-2016 has been adopted. It is the last item of business that we have this evening. That brings us to our second opportunity for poll voting. If anyone would like to come forward, we will have up to three minutes. All right, we'll move on to Community Day Board. Good evening, Council. I just wanted to tell you a little bit about the Hungry Hunger Program. As you know, applications closed last week, and I had the pleasure of meeting with all but one of the Hungry Investment Program recipients today. So we are so happy to be able to fund 23 homeowners in our project. So that was great 
to come in. Molly, thanks for your insight. And I'm sure it's a good program and helps a lot of kids. And have a good evening. Ms. Johnson. Thank you all for coming. Molly, what a wonderful program. And somebody named Costa. How perfect and fitting. So, and thank you for the invitation. I see you for the breakfast and everything in here. That's very, very nice. Hope to see all of you in a couple weeks. Mr. Spade. Thank you, Mr. President. I just want to thank everybody for coming out this evening. Enjoy the rest of your week. Thank you. All right. Well, I also want to thank everyone for being here this evening. We have no other official business before us. Therefore, except a motion of adjournment. Mr. President, move to adjourn. Second. All right. I have a motion by Mr. Bailey and a second by Mr. Gray for adjournment. Ms. Reinhart, please call the roll. Morrison. Yes. 